What's going on, everybody? What up? Uh, welcome to a brand new podcast Hell on yeah. our channel. As you could tell, we've done a multi-million dollar setup with here. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, nice. my office is normal with curtains. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Uh, I like it. And this isn't a red room. We assure you, there's nothing that's bad. We come well. back if with red curtains next month. If you think this is a red month. room, <laughs> you're colorblind. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally <laughs> fucking me. So I immediately looked yeah, at you. Like, you're colorblind. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, I told Jenny before we started. I'm like, I got all these beautiful red curtains. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, so uh, this is a brand new podcast yeah. on the channel. Uh, rest in peace to murder. We spoke. Sorry. I'm very sorry that that podcast at the end. If you guys want to see that podcast again, don't worry about it. Just yeah. tell us, let us know, and we'll bring it back. And yeah. then uh, we'll kick Jenny to the curb. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking around. Damn. I'm fucking around. Uh, so what is the the idea behind this podcast? What's going on? I don't know. We're trying to figure out if people are buttholes or not. Yeah. Being yeah. really nosy. Yeah. That mm. is the top. We like passing the tea. Mm-hmm. Spilling and the judging. tea. Yeah. Mm. judging. Yeah. Yeah, we're a couple yes. of judgy bitches. <laughs> Ooh. I'm definitely yes. very... <laughs> also, I'm switching while doing the podcast, yeah. so if anything turns out shitty... It's my it's fault. fault. No, it's not your <laughs> fault. You fine. You Gucci. No, nah, you it's did a, it. You're yeah. doing the thing. I, I did it. Mm. <laughs> oh, Christine. <laughs> so yeah, the idea behind this podcast is to look at different posts on like Reddit. Am I the asshole? And try to figure out based yeah. on our past experience if someone is or is not an asshole. Yeah. yeah. It's very subjective. Yeah or gonna, nay. We're gonna be like Judge Judy. Minus the gavel, yay! Maybe next time. No, if we need one. I'm telling you, like, we, we get can like the infinity gauntlet. It, I'll do it. It'll be great. Mine just has a bunch of little pieces on it. This is my new project. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to handle Matt's request? It's a bunch of dicks on the fucking cap. It would have to be like a bunch of animal penises that don't look like regular penises. That oh. way it could get past the sensors. You haven't let the sense of this shit yeah, out of this that podcast. Sounds, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't show dicks on this mm -mm. podcast. I don't no. Know. <laughs> what about things that like look just phallic? Like, yeah, you know, phallic items. I think we could do that. Like do spaceships? That. What about dildos? Oh. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> guys, welcome to that's our podcast. My, that's just I my mean, gavel. <laughs> I'm using the balls the to thing. smash on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. I don't know if I'm regretting this already. <laughs> Saying yes. Shake that magic eight ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, ask, ask again, again later. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> As an introductory, yeah. I, I believe I've been an asshole in the past. I'm being an asshole now, so, <laughs> I mean... No, I've definitely had my asshole experiences. Yeah. Like, I, there's moments where I'm like, oh my god, I was an asshole. Mm -hmm. So I think from, like... Respectively. Yeah, like, I have that critical lens <laughs> where I can look back and be like, mm. I think I could... I was about to say finger an asshole. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that's what I was Listen. trying to say. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so this I think I could put my finger <laughs> on an asshole. <laughs> you could point one out in the line. Yeah, put my finger right on that asshole. I'm trying to get There's a no leave. saving me. There's no saving me. I'm, I'm in deep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Knuckle deep. Knuckle deep. Ooh. Have you guys been assholes in the past, do you feel? I feel like every second of the day, I'm an asshole at some point or another because I'm highly critical of myself. That was sad. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if you're highly critical of yourself, are you constantly thinking? Are you only yeah. after thought, after the actions, yeah. or during the actions? I'm like, shit, I was just an asshole there. Like, not during it, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> because I got, like, oh, verbal okay. diarrhea, like, stuff just comes out, or, like, I do an action, and then I'm like, oh, shit, that was, like, an asshole thing to do. Do you ask, like, was I just an asshole? Or no. Or are you like, no, I was definitely an no, asshole. No, I'm always, right like, introspectively thinking, I'm like... Yeah, I'm an asshole. So maybe this this podcast will help you find clarity. Yeah, make me maybe. feel less like an asshole. Because I don't think you're an asshole. It, me, it does you. make me feel better reading it. Like mm. I definitely have been an asshole mm. in the past mm -hmm. multiple times. Sometimes it's like once you tell somebody about it, you're like, oh shit, no, I, was, <laughs> I was in the wrong there. But yeah. um, reading these stories helps mm. me. 
because at least I'm not that bad of an asshole. Yeah, some people are real jerks when you go through the subreddit and, and everything, and it's like, oh my god. And you're thinking the whole time because there are trolls, mm. so yeah, we do have be. to filter that out as mm. well. Um, but there are definitely people out there that there are some trolls that you're like, oh, is this is this somebody being real? Because there are definitely people who think like this, or mm. is this just a guy mm. wanting to get a rise or gal or whatever it reminds me of like the fml page where like people would write stories and those like definitely people who did like fake shit mm -hmm. but then like there are yeah. ones where you're like oh that's that's real <laughs> yeah oh that that sucks yeah. i read that all the time and i think that's funny. why i started reading this one a lot because i'm just nosy <laughs> <laughs> no i was i was on fml a lot too and my wife she was always on fml damn really that's funny. crazy she used to be like Alex, did you see this? Oh one? my god! <laughs> she was like a mod. She was like able to approve stories. I mean, that's, that's so funny. Yeah, that's how I found uh, this one. My boyfriend, ooh, um, damn, found it, and he read me a couple, and he's like, "I think you would really like this." <laughs> and now I send them to him all the time, hmm. and he's like, "Do you ever have time to sleep? Like, what's <laughs> going on here?" Would you say you have the most? Uh, I personally have not been on this page. A lot. You I'm know what I'm saying? How, how much? Every day. Every day. Wow. Because when I'm bored at work. Oh, my God. When I used to work at retail. Yeah. There was just so much time in between. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to do, like, <laughs> like, sweeping the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> well, do my main job and my main job only. Yeah. Anything else now. So I would mm. read them a lot. Mm. And then I would ask coworkers about it. So like it was just. I don't know, would you get always... their opinion too? Like, oh, do you think this person's an asshole? Yeah, I would. If it was a really bad one that I read, then I'm like, yo, wow, I need damn. you to listen to this story. <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, welcome to being an official part of the team. Yeah. If, Thank you. I, by for, the way, for having me be a part of the of team. Of course. Oh yeah, dude. it's Offering fun. Offering the hand. <laughs> yeah, we put the hand out. You just had to grab it. Oh my god! <laughs> just like sweets. Batman. <laughs> just gotta grab the fucking. Why hand. do we fall? Why do we fall? So we could grab hands. Grab oh, hands. I'm falling. I need your hand to get up. I've fallen. So, <laughs> I would love that if Batman had that little remote. And it's like, <laughs> I can't get up. So I there's this one that I found on here. I picked yeah. strictly by name from the name, right? Hmm. It's uh, am I the asshole? For deleting my son's world. I was like, what does that fucking mean? Who on like a video yeah. game? On like <laughs> yeah. Roblox? Yeah, I was going to say, some sort of game. Sure. Does anybody else? Get out of here! Who Get are you? Here. You're an asshole! I'm doing a podcast! Oh my God. Am I the asshole? I left my sounds on. <laughs> um, survey says... Yes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Here you go, man. Let's get. Let's take a look. See. I really hope <laughs> it's like <laughs> Roblox oh, or something. That's, that's the one that <laughs> I was like, trying to think he, of. He like the social yeah. world. <laughs> I have killed my son's social life. <laughs> oh my god! All right. So, am I the asshole for deleting my son's world? I deleted my son's fifteen. Minecraft world. He is a super okay. big fan of video games and especially Minecraft. Almost every day he shows me his creations on Minecraft. <laughs> and I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> In his favorite world, he created villages and castles, which he was super proud of. On the weekends, I want him to wake up around six or so so that he could do his chores and lawn work so that we could hang out sooner. Hopeful, however, recently has been staying up late around 11 p.m. every night. I told him he is too young to be going so to I can't even read. Okay. <laughs> he was too I young to be going again. to bed so like so fifteen now, years 15? old. 15. Yeah, fifty there we go. That's so I much better. You do that. Oh, you do the finger spread? <laughs> Yeah, just like I have a Mac, phone. I don't even know how to fucking Damn. use it. <laughs> However, recently he's been staying up late around 11 p.m. every night. I told him that he was too young to be going to bed so late, and what? that Wait. I would punish him if he did it again. Damn, dude. A few nights. 
Yeah, a few nights ago, I went into his room to check on him since I heard noise, and he was up at 11.30. This was incredibly oh disrespectful. So I deleted his world after he went to school the oh next day. Oh my god. That sounds terrible. This is, yeah, this is bad. Now he is super upset and hasn't been talking to me since he told me that he's been playing on this world since he was 11. So this is a four-year no. extravaganza. Yeah, I told him it was just a game and that his creations were just oh, ones no, and zeros. Dude. And he was being a life. baby. That's really rough. That's rough. Dude. He got mad at me and slammed his door, so I grounded him and took all of his electronics. Am I the asshole? All right, I'm gonna raise my hand because I say as a father. Maybe. Yeah, I want to <laughs> say he is an asshole. Game yeah. players. So well, I, I am too. But. As someone who knows computers, there's this thing you can do as a parent called parental controls. Yeah, you could lock this kid's computer. You could shut it down. After a certain time, so this kid fucking goes mm -hmm. to sleep. Yep. Deleting their whole entire fucking- That's, that's fucked up. And for him to be working on this for four years and having to start from scratch, that's- That's awful. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really just pull worlds back. No, and, like, and, and no. 15 years old, 1130 is way too late to you. I was- That's weird to me. I don't know. Like, yeah. at 15, I think I was up until 1. 12, yeah, at one least. 1 in the morning sometimes. Earliest. I mean, yeah. like, my parents wouldn't be okay with it, but that's what you do as yeah. a no, teenager. Big time. I, I can relate to this story. I think my mom might have made this post. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. When I was a kid, uh, I was playing The Sims a lot. Mm. And you Sims. know how much fucking time yeah, can go into The Sims. Yeah, it takes forever. Yeah. You know? Like, if, if you're really dedicated on, like, setting these people up, like, not using mother load or whatever the fucking code is for, that's like, the did. money. So... So did I. <laughs> <laughs> but without like, first off, I played Sims so long and I still don't know how to get them like actual jobs and come home. And there's like tasks that's like meet Martians and shit. I'm like, Damn. that's in this game. <laughs> that's crazy. I think it's only gotten more. Yeah. Then. So I was playing. I did all these mods and I got like mm. the literally Titans Tower from like Teen Titans. In that's the game. insane. Yeah. yeah. So like, wow. And and each floor was like an actual floor. And I was like super into it because I this is the first time I had a game that I was like really 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 into because I used to like do collectibles and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> my mom's like, Alex, you need to get outside that room. Get outside. You need to stop playing The Sims. Oh my god. And I'm like, Mom, like I really I I'm still loading stuff. I just want to save everything. Want to have everything in here. And then I want to say, <laughs> 10, 15 minutes later, she goes. You are being so nasty. I'm going to call the cops on you. Oh my she literally God. told me she's going to fucking call the cops on me for playing The Sims. Yeah. So they would have laughed in her face. So I relate to this kid. <laughs> and I'm mistaken. sorry your mom deleted your world. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Oh, my goodness. oh, man, this guy is such a jerk. I don't like oh, this is, dad. Is it a, it's a dad. Yeah, this is the dad. I don't like this dad. For yeah, you're being an asshole. That's cruel to a kid. Because oh, as a kid, like, that's pretty much what yeah especially if you're not like that sociable or you don't have a lot of friends yeah. like that is your world is the video and that's game how people make yeah. friends yeah too, a lot of the time by having those interests or during you know like mm -hmm. discord or mm -hmm. you know anything big like fucking that. time especially in modern day too mm -hmm. there's not a lot that like mm -mm. kids minecraft no. is the one big game where you could do anything build anything and have like a completely separate life go on adventures and feel like yourself exactly. like explore yourself in a weird game with blocks mm -hmm. <laughs> Discover your sexuality <laughs> through blocks. And that's the generation. You didn't play Minecraft the way I did. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. I discovered it through stories. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fair enough. I see, I see. Because I was writing horrible stories from when yes, I was in you high did. school. You did. <laughs> I did a lot of Tumblr poetry. Oh, wow. Oh, no kidding. Tumblr poetry? That's fucking awesome. That's wild. If you ever want to share. Terrible. I, I deleted them. Oh, oh man. I you destroyed your world. <laughs> <laughs> my my 15 year old <laughs> world. I think I was yeah. in college and I was like, I can't. Man, there's I stuff. I don't want to know. There's stuff like that that it's like I go back to and it's like, man, I was so stupid. Like Zanga, like when Zanga was a thing. Oh, is, is that one where you'd like just post your feelings? Yeah, for where the you day? were extremely dramatic and emo and everything all the time. Ooh. Like and that, that's what Tumblr was for me. Wow. That's why I deleted it. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Because it was like poetry, but then mm. also sad just wow. oh, a lot of sad no, that's the that. teenage angst it's the angsty yeah. angsty yeah. i had those years i went on anonymous posts though where they wow. i mean they probably have like mm. fucking ip and stuff on it but like 
I was just like, anonymous, where no one can know who I am. <laughs> I'm so sad. Are you a 4chan? No, wow. I didn't do 4chan. 4chan. Like <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I That's found out about 4chan later. <laughs> yeah. What is a 4chan? I got another one. Uh, I, we didn't decide based on the title before, right? So maybe we should do it for this one, right? Okay. Am I the asshole for refusing to cut the lawn? I don't know. Oh, I mean, I, it depends on the really, circumstance. It's like, who is it? What's going on? I mean, it sounds like it, yeah, but I don't know the backstory behind it because usually when people flesh out the story, that's where you're able to be like, mm, maybe I'm the asshole for <laughs> judging early on. <laughs> yeah. From my point of view, refusing to cut the lawn unless you have, like, I work all fucking day. I literally have no time to do this, and she's asking me to do it. It's the only time where I could be like, all right, hire someone. You're not the asshole. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like this person's going to be the asshole. <laughs> I feel like not the asshole. Okay. Do you want to read? Ugh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you got to defend this guy now, too. You oh, my God. <laughs> You're already like, he's not I'm an asshole. Mm. Yeah, thankfully we found some Spread the fingers. Do like a little spread. Yeah. Two fingers spread? <laughs> Two yeah. fingers spread? Yeah. Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> That's all right. I was fingering assholes before. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. Because well, before, that's what was messing me up until I did the finger spread. And I was like, oh, this is much better. <laughs> it's not sounding any better for I'm some reason. sorry. I chose some bad at vocalizing things. Oh, my God. The finger spread. Oh, please read. Please. Uh, <laughs> you have to do the spread. Now I'm like, oh, I can't. The two finger spread. Yeah. All right. So I, male, 29, have been married to my wife, female, 28 for two years mm. living f together for three most of the chores in our house are divided evenly such as rotating the laundry every other week now for some whatever reason <clears throat> i hate cutting lawn or cutting grass i have for a long time it's not like i can't cut grass I did when I lived alone, and I do if my wife has plans when it needs to get cut. On the other side, my wife does not like to cook. Hmm. She prefers to have more time off in the evening after work. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much as long as we have lived together, I have done all the cooking and she cuts the grass. Both of us are happy mm -hmm. with this arrangement. Oof, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Um, on to the problem. A few days ago, my dad, male, 60, mm. came over to drop off some things from my parents. Oh, God, I really thought you were going to say died. And I was oh like, my oh, God. no. <laughs> I see where this situation is going. Me too. And now yeah. I okay. think we have our consensus. Let's see. Let's mm. see. Okay. Um, I lost my place here. From my parents, my parents' house. My wife was cutting the lawn when he showed up. The visit went pretty, pretty, wait, excuse me. The, the visit, visit was so pretty. <laughs> My pretty dad. The visit went perfectly normal. There we go. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Pretty. He's just so pretty. <laughs> yeah. I love him. But later, he began texting me that we needed to talk. Oh, my God. I called him and was given a long rant about how I'm not a kid anymore and that as a husband Ugh. I need to step up and take responsibility. I tried to explain to him that I did all the cooking but he told me sorry I gotta swallow spit uh, <laughs> <laughs> shit <God damn> it. <laughs> but we're, we're in deep here we yeah. the finger of the asshole uh, swallow <laughs> spit <laughs> two fingers spread <laughs> we all had our turn <laughs> Continue. Anyway. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> but he told me that that wasn't good enough. That's crazy. And that my wife should cook while I cut grass. Why? Ah, yeah. gender rule. Yeah, that's toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Yeah. I asked my wife about this, and she said she would would rather not have to cook. But my dad is being very resistant. Mm. Why is it? It's not his marriage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, my dad's been so mean. <laughs> Am I the asshole here? No, no, he's definitely not the asshole. It sounds like that they already had an arrangement set up, and they're perfectly happy the way that it's situated, where the wife is more into, like, caretaking the lawn and yeah. everything. And there are women that are like that that of are course. more interested of in 
being in the garden and everything yeah. like that. And it's you know, really maintaining just what everything. you like. It doesn't. Yeah. That's what relationships are. It's about running a household together. Mm-hmm. Well, not all about, but like th- an aspect of it is running mm-hmm. a household together. If they found out a system that yeah. works for them, there's yeah, God bless them. Fighting all the time about who's doing what chores mm-hmm. and the Absolutely. fact that they have yeah. it. Why no, it's does true. The dad care. Yeah. No, yeah, he shouldn't fucking have a say no. over who does what chore. Yeah, big mm-hmm. time. Especially since, like you said, it's not his marriage. It's not him and his wife. You know, it's his son's and his wife's arrangement they have set yeah. up. Yeah. I want a picture of the lawn that day. I want to see how bad it fucking was. Oh. <laughs> it's probably better much? than his lawn, so he, the yeah, father's oh jealous. God. Father's like, this woman knows how to cut grass better than me. The dad does it with like a pair of fucking yeah. scissors. <laughs> he's like, why is it so difficult? You need to do this. Yeah. <laughs> He just pays somebody too. That's, oh my that's god! That's the thing yeah. too. It's it's very easy to pay someone yeah. like 30, 40 bucks to cut your lawn. It can add up quick. But mm-hmm. Oh no! Absolutely, yeah, I, definitely. But anyway, I think this guy's asshole. in the right. I feel like his father has no right to his be accosting a- him because of not cutting the lawn or whatever. I don't know. I think it's stupid. <laughs> Overdone. Yeah, yeah, big time. Of all the things to get up said about like there are just people out there that want to be angry yeah i feel like it's just old-fashioned like gender roles that no like, that's stereotyping. Really what i feel too this person yeah. is really under like the dad is like this old-fashioned dad who's mm-hmm. like men cut the lawn and women cook the food it's like bro it's not that, yeah it's not that it's way not, anymore it's not the 50s 60s yeah. anymore dude we'll like, do whatever you like yeah. we've we've gone way mm-hmm. way past fucking that. past <laughs> I didn't know that jobs were gendered. Yeah. No. That's so yeah. weird. Yeah, this one's a crazy situation, but yeah, no, that guy's dad's an asshole. Yeah, yeah that, that dad has to go into some kind of class. <laughs> what class, yeah. Alex? Uh, <laughs> 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 Responsibility <laughs> class. <laughs> yeah. What a piece of shit, this guy. <laughs> Can we talk about that and not that class thing I said? <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. Like, maybe what the fuck could, is maybe that? You could comment on that. You could, you could comment that. Do <laughs> <laughs> <The> a <one> class. <laughs> like, oh my God. who is the space and guy? Uh, what the fuck is he talking about? This video kills me. I, I think this video is so Yeah, funny. we'll go back to that. Yeah. I want to, hold on. Ah, uh, okay. So there's one that I really, 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 really want to know the story behind, okay? Okay. It's called, Am I the Asshole for Putting a Boy in a Dress After He Pooped Himself? <laughs> oh my god, that already sounds like a yes. That... I feel like it's a no. It seems, okay. Yeah. I feel like it's the only option available. Exactly. And like, that's yeah, what unless that's, it. that's all they have. Like, if that's the only thing that's nearby, then no, they're not the butthole. But if they're like, <laughs> but, <laughs> why she just so cute about <laughs> it? <laughs> they're not the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're like doing it to make the kid feel bad for messing himself, then oh, the, yeah. it depends on the situation. But I'm sure they'll get into that once I the story like gets played out. The scene is a park or something, mm. and that's the only mm. thing in the car. Yeah, it's no, that older, makes sense. You know. Yeah. That's where where we're headed right now. Let's see. What if she says, like, boy, when he pooped himself, and it's like her 80 year old grandfather? Oh, my God. It's like, I needed to put him in a dress. <laughs> you sure? You sure, like, Denise? Yeah, I don't know. Hold on. As soon as this connects again, I'll start reading it. Pro- <laughs> Do we all also have problems with reading? Because me personally, I feel like when I'm reading, I'm like, they never taught me how to read. <laughs> uh, when it was really small, I felt like I needed hooked on phonics. I was like, oh boy, I better go back to elementary school. Yeah. I can't I can't spell or pronounce things properly, so there may be a time where I'm like, hey, what's this yeah. word? <laughs> Tell me this word. I don't know this word. I'm also bad with like sometimes I use acronyms or like mm. internet lingo. Ling- lingo lingo yeah no a lot of the stuff if it's internet like abbreviations i gotta look it up yeah i, yeah. I'm like, I don't okay. understand some. acronyms or anything there are definitely some okay so am i the asshole for putting a boy in a dress after he pooped himself i'm 17 female and work at a daycare oh. i work with ages 18 to 24 months m- months yeah. uh this boy yesterday pooped all up his back and all in his pants Hmm. I gave him a small bath in the sink and put on a 
Okay. Put a, a new diaper on him. I then realized I didn't have any spare ho- mm, any spare clothes from home. I checked in our spare clothes basket, and there wasn't any in his size. He's a little fat baby. Mm. Mm. It's so cute. I think he's 20 months old. I asked the neighbor classroom if her sister had any extra clothes. Our classrooms are connected by a bathroom with hall doors on each side. So if that makes sense. So while I, was, while I was in the bathroom slash changing station, I just walked over to a half door and the teacher gave his sister's dress and handed it to me. The teacher, the screen went black. Oh my God. Oh, the little thing is bouncing. Like, it was it crazy. Up on my phone? Oh, it came back. Oh, Ooh, she's there here. we go. Okay. She's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, handed the dress to me. The teacher said, this is all she has. I said thank you and I said it didn't matter too much. I just didn't want him to be naked or in super tight clothes. Or in pooped clothes, can mm. you say? Uh, once he walked out of my co-workers, oh, oh my god, my co-teachers burst out laughing and said, What are you wearing? You look just like your sister. He giggled and shook the dress Aww. around. That's so funny. He walked over to the other co-teacher so he could show her she was visibly angry and disgusted. Mm. She asked me why I did that, and I said it's his sister's dress, and there aren't any other spare clothes that fit him. She rolled her eyes and took him to the fine boy clothes. Okay. Uh, he came back in in a very tight outfit and looked extremely uncomfortable. Mm. My coworker was mad at me uh, for a while after, and it's making me sad. Oh. Mm. Mm. I feel like I must have done something pretty bad without realizing if she won't speak to me. That sucks, too. Yeah. Uh, the other teacher didn't care at all. Also... It wasn't like he was going to be in a dress the whole day. We have a laundry room in the building. So once his clothes were done drying, I was going to put him back, put it back on him. Both my coworkers are 25, by the way. That's wild. Yeah, it just I sounds like... I was going to mention that, too. Daycares, they have... Yeah, they have, have laundry areas field. that they can clean the clothes out and everything and mm -hmm. get, yeah. them, get them back into their clothes that they're comfortable in and everything for yeah. them to go back to their parents. Yeah, this is... Do we feel like this was the best option? Do we feel like she could have, like... I think it's like, fine. No, it's the... I mean, like, if the parents don't bring in clothes, or yeah. if it was just, you know, like, a miscommunication between the the the, um, the daycare workers and mm. parents, and she went to the sister. Yeah, mm. and... And it's... I don't know, like, because... So, I work with little kids, so... Okay. Mm. So, I have experience in this, but... Makes sense. I don't know. I haven't really seen people do where they're bringing in dresses as backup mm. clothes it's usually shorts and pants so mm. it makes sense for her to be like okay maybe the sister has something yeah instead of and there was no clo extra clothes yeah the only other option is maybe taking from another kid but then that wouldn't be right because yeah. that parents may not be comfortable with that so yeah. i think yeah, this was clothes. the best option yeah, yeah. and time. they were being clean the the clothes were being cleaned. Yeah, it That's wasn't going to be was. long that this person was even going to be in a dress. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like another gender thing where it's just like boys wear pants and mm -hmm. the girls wear the dresses. And the kid like, didn't fucking yeah, care. Yeah, the kid seemed to yeah. really enjoy it. Like, Ooh, being, so and it's not like it was a sexualized thing. Yeah. That's true. They don't like have that where he's like, I'm going to be a girl notion. now. Kids no. do that all the time where yeah. they dress up in like dresses and then yeah. it's essentially when they're told they shouldn't that they stop. I did it when I was 14. In a target. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Put a dress right off the rack on my body. Oh. My sister gave me a skirt Did you get one dirty time. Looks? Oh. <laughs> I just went like this. There's like a picture on Facebook or MySpace. I was like, Ugh, I don't know in if a that's dress. also a thing oh that like God. 14 year old boys do because like there's a lot of like guys I know that have at least one picture of them like with a bra on over, like mm, in a yeah. Target or a Walmart. Yeah, it's funny. So. I mean I wore a dress, I was Betty Boop one year. And you <laughs> We also went like upstate one time, and like all the guys. Oh yeah, put that's on right. I did put on uh, one yeah. of our friends' dresses. Yeah. They wanted to dress us up, and I was like, okay. They're like, we want to <laughs> make you look pretty. In <laughs> not high pretty. school, I was part of stage crew, and that's what all the Ooh, stage crew men play did. Play practice. <laughs> <laughs> Under <laughs> the <laughs> stage, <laughs> go into the bowling alley. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, no. I've heard it all. <laughs> but that's what they did uh, when we went out for the bows. All mm -hmm. the guys like found like random dresses. We were like mm. duct taping them. In. <laughs> oh my god! Because <laughs> they wouldn't fit. So. Well, that makes sense. It was I interesting. Guess. <laughs> so it was definitely interesting. So consensus: person not an asshole. Yeah, they're Absolutely. not an asshole. Not Absolutely. an asshole. Yeah. No, no way. No, they're fine. 
They're, I feel like their coworkers are assholes. Yeah, their coworkers might be assholes. Big time buttholes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Big Ooh. time mm, stinky booty holes. Mm. Thinking mm. of like big time rush and then just <laughs> 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 Now we're going big time. <laughs> oh my god. No. My son used to watch that too. <laughs> big time. Aww. It used to help him go to sleep. Big oh. time rush. <laughs> That's so funny. Not big time butthole. No, not big time butthole. That's what helped daddy go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put your finger on it. <laughs> go oh to fuck! Sleep. Okay, Call so back. I have the title. Everyone decide: Is this person the asshole? Okay. And I, <laughs> <laughs> oh my am God. I the asshole for stealing my own taco? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just the it's my taco in there is like, I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, Who wants no. to read? I don't think that. You want to go? Got this? I just went. All right. Oh. Who, I'll go. I haven't read. Oh, Jenny's going to go. There All right. Go. Let's All right. do this. We'll, we'll switch off. You were too slow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, <laughs> this is pretty I mean, I did for something it. about yeah. just a taco. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's an in-depth in conversation about in -depth it. In-depth conversation. Okay. So we're all saying no, though. But in, in so, so, so yes. far, no. So no. far, no. No. Unless he kills someone over this. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, if he <laughs> murders somebody then over I would the taco, or she. Solid, maybe, or oh, um, there isn't also another judgment of everybody's the asshole, or nobody's oh. the asshole. Mm. That it's just a circumstance, you know, like hmm. they were feeling their way. You're feeling your way. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay. So we do have like four judgments. Mm. That's fair. Now it feels more like, okay, we can do this. We need to gavel with four buttons. Pop, pop, Oh, my pop. God. <laughs> yeah, I like that. We get, like, the one thing where we get recorded. Everybody's the yeah. asshole. Yeah. <laughs> being like, bam. Everyone. Every goddamn one. Or you can do it where you say, that like, everybody except that yeah. person. Yeah. All right. Let's see it. Let's go. Okay. Hey, all. A while back, a few of my bros and I were hanging out <laughs> and getting blasted. To which, after much drinking, we got hungry and ordered some Taco Bell from Uber. I got a big bell box meal, while everybody else got some random tacos and nachos. But when everything came, my meal didn't come in a box. They must have ran out or something. To which, everything was thrown in the, bo the bag. The lacking of the box plays a factor into the story. To be clear. <laughs> to which, when everything was sorted out appropriately, we began chowing down. Later on, as we started getting full, one of my friends, I'll refer to him as Rick, started to get full and couldn't finish the other half of his nachos belt grande. <laughs> <laughs> to which they gave the remainder of their nachos to another friend. This, let's call this friend I'll for, refer to <laughs> as Carl. So we got mm. Rick and Carl. <laughs> I All like right. that this yeah. person's also giving everybody a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes the story easy, yeah. easy to follow. Yeah. Now we know Rick and we know Carl. Yeah. All right. Yes. So there's Rick and Not Carl. Real Carl. Names. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Carl. <laughs> 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 That's my taco. Oh, Carl. cheer me. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, oh you stole my taco. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Carl. Jimmy. Yeah, oh my god, there's four names. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, who ate the whole thing? So friend okay. had the yeah. Bel Grande, yeah. didn't want to finish it, Carl ate. Alright. Okay. So Carl ate the nachos. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Shortly after our, shortly after Carl ate all of the nachos, Rick all of a sudden became hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Rick. <laughs> Give my nachos. Oh, God. I'm hungry. <laughs> Man, watching you eat all my nachos <laughs> makes me hungry again. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to which there were only a few small things on the table remaining. Uh -huh. One of them being my last taco <laughs> <of> my meal <laughs> that I planned to finish. 
fucking piss myself. <laughs> okay. To which, uh, to which one of my friends, let's call them Pete, <laughs> saw my taco and was like, "There's this random taco on the table that you can eat." To which, since I didn't finish my meal and was still hungry due to being a pig, <laughs> grabbed the taco and ate it. So when I grabbed it, our friend Pete gave me a glare that was like, you disgust me, fatso. <laughs> As I took the first bite and proceeded to eat the whole taco because I am a glutton. <laughs> because, but I definitely felt shame and self-loathing <laughs> after receiving the stare. The stare heard around the world. <laughs> Normally, I would have I would have kept oh, my fuck. tacos in my box as a signal that they were mine, <laughs> but due to not having a box, oh no, we went black. Oh fuck! Oh, we no. went what? No. Oh no! <laughs> like I said, left. That's what is going on? What did you say? <laughs> you were so <laughs> deep into that story. <laughs> What happened? I'm too Move drunk for this story. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Me on. too. We're back. We're back. Uh, okay, we're back. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, so yes, I would have put it back into the box. <laughs> I think oh. it gave my friends the idea that I am a taco <laughs> caper. Wait, what? A taco a, caper? A caper. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Caper. Okay. The caper. caper. The caper. caper. Oh, okay. I know. I could have offered to split the taco with Rick, <laughs> which I normally would have done. And am ashamed for not doing so. But due to being quite drunk, I wasn't thinking clearly. Mm -hmm. Am I the asshole for <laughs> eating my final taco? <laughs> we have to go to ad break. But when we come right back. <laughs> going to an ad break? We're going to figure out. We, no, as soon as we come back, you're going to hear the conclusion of the story. And we're going to find out if... What was this person's name? We got like <laughs> fucking Rick Carl. They never, they never said their name. They're... Their profile is Tootsie Poo. <laughs> so. so we're going to find out if this OP is an if asshole. Tootsie Poo is we'll an asshole. Right back. Much love, love. See you after the ad break. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the ad break. If you didn't know, we're sponsored by a lovely place called The Ghost, Ghost Stop. Stop. <laughs> So uh, all of us here have hunted ghosts. <laughs> yeah, Together. we went to the <laughs> terrifying, 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 terrifying <laughs> place. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> I don't like heights in general, so when it was sorry oh, flying, it was extra <laughs> scary. <laughs> yeah. So we've all been ghost hunting, and we yeah. know what the kind of crazy fucking equipment goes into that, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, yeah. Alive. Yeah. And a lot of that equipment you could find on the Ghost Stop. So go to spacesandbony.com slash ghost stop. Check out the equipment they have and uh, let them know we sent you. And just pick yeah. up some stuff from that store. They got EMF, uh, voice recorders. They got spirit boxes. They got bears oh, that respond to stuff. Box. Oh, the teddy Ooh. bear can. Yeah. They got, what? Like, they have that too? They got That's dope. literally everything on that site. So check it out. Uh, much love to the Ghost Stop. Thank you for the sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And do you guys like these chairs? Fuck yeah. I love these chairs. You were playing with the arms. Everybody loves the pink chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> you were playing with the awesome. arms of the chair before, too. And yeah, yeah you was. love the pink chair. I love my pink chair. This is my favorite chair. Aww. It is a nice that was some I thought that was going to be my chair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually, I got it for him for Christmas. Yeah. Gift. And Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is like, what chair do you want? And I was like, the pink one. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I, I, it's, well, it, it suits you. It's a good fucking chair. Yeah. Is it? yeah. yeah. I like a little color. So, uh, spaceandbony.com slash vertigear. You can check out these chairs. They got the P line, the S line, the trigger line. All different chairs, all different levels of comfort. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jenny, play with those arms. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa! <laughs> I thought I broke it. That was fun. Time. <laughs> but you didn't, because these chairs are sturdy as hell. Yeah. These are really fucking cool chairs. Oh, yeah. You got lumbar support. You can recline. Mm. Yeah, I love her climbing. I thought about it. <laughs> I've like, oh, fallen shit. asleep in this chair. You literally have. Yeah. I find these chairs very comfortable. So I love this Once chair. again, if you guys want to find out where you can get chairs like this, spacesandbony.com slash vertigear. We're not going to take too much of your time. We're actually going to hop right back into the podcast. So we'll see you soon. Much love. Beautiful. Ah. Uh.
I don't know why I made that fucking noise. <laughs> You're like the Nason XB. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nate's an XB. <laughs> have you seen the Nate's an XB? Yeah. We're gonna have to show you that shit. Out. Wait, wait. Is it that yeah. really long video that's fucked up? No, it, this is like a regular ad that was on TV. Yeah. It's okay. like, yeah, why well, try? I think I'm thinking of something else. I'm though. juicing in your nose. Oh. Yeah, it was just this, this beat that was like, oh, you need to have your sinuses cleared out. Oh. We'll go, I'm a fucking bee. Oh, we're gonna show Jenny this video. We're yeah. Gonna go back to the oh shit, we're still recording. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I didn't know we were recording. Guys, oh. welcome back from the ad break. We're about to find out if Tootsie Poo <laughs> is an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I think effectively no. <laughs> so, so you would say no. No. Hmm. What would you say? I feel like everybody sucks. Really? I feel like he's... N I think no one's an asshole. I think no one's an asshole. I feel like there was miscommunication. Oh, okay. You know? I think it's like that that one of the side ones. I really don't think anyone did anything wrong. Mm. Uh, Tootsie Poo got his taco. <laughs> I, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit of explaining, oh no, that's my last taco. Th that would have definitely been... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we can effectively say uh, no, that no. wasn't okay. Or I, I like the nobody was an asshole. Okay. No asshole mm. here. Thank you. Jenny, does this story sound familiar to you? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so Oh wait. <laughs> I think it's saying general letter like, oh wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I tried to block that out. <laughs> so, so Tootsie Poo's mad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and we're all like, so who's is it? <laughs> so when Matt told me this story, I think a day and a half uh, later, he goes, I think Jenny was really pissed off at me for eating that. <laughs> It's like for eating that last yeah. taco. I was just like, that was my taco for my bugs meal. <laughs> I was and scared. I said, Matt, that was not clear. I'm like, Matt, that was not yeah. clear at all. So uh, as as, I don't... as an explanation, <laughs> we were all hanging out one fucking night. And Matt wanted taco. Well, we all wanted taco. Yeah, about, we all right? wanted tacos. So Matt, go Matt got his tacos. fucking box. And it all came in weird bags. No one yeah. knew what was what. Oh, my gosh. It was exactly <laughs> yeah yeah it's almost the same story <laughs> matt did you write this <laughs> are you tootsie poo <laughs> matt is literally tootsie poo oh, <laughs> so, so, uh, so fucking my brother and his wife take a whole bag of food they didn't even say what's yeah. in it they're like this is our bag this is our bag <laughs> Like they literally just it's our bag. Then all the other tacos were on the like the fucking thing, right? And and people were moving around. No one knew whose was what's food. And <laughs> initially it was like all of this stuff is missing, and you already had to put in like <laughs> yeah, that. Yo, that's everything literally was true. missing. That's literally true. <laughs> and they do like everything. We were all like, oh no, actually, like a good chunk of the stuff is here. And then it's like I just I, said everything's I, missing because I literally went to everybody. I'm like, okay, did you get your items? Like, no. Did you get your items? No. no. I'm like, fan fucking tastic. I'm gonna put that they're missing. I'm like, all right, just got my money back. Thank you guys. They're like, oh, I found my food. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm like, what? Oh my I mean, God. are you really complaining about getting your money back? I don't. I don't like fooling the system. <laughs> I don't like getting my money back on something that I spent my money on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, that's sweet. Yeah. Taco Bell was on it. <laughs> Guys, Taco Bell's on me this time. <laughs> Taco Bell was on Taco Bell. <laughs> you guys could on the Taco take Bell your Venmo pie. money back. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Bridget, who's over there in the sidelines. You can't see her, but we can. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bridget ordered her nachos, and Tony was like, I'm still hungry. And Bridget's like, you can eat the rest of my notches. I don't really want them. And Tony also then afterwards went up to my 
kitchen and got a bowl of cereal. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. I forgot about this cereal. <laughs> I forgot about that. Holy crap, he so, did. So not only did he eat those nachos, but he also ate cereal after. Uh, anyway, then Matt's taco was on the table. I didn't know whose it was. <laughs> I don't think you know whose it was. No. I, I think we said that was an extra. You like what you were saying. Yeah, I'm like we literally. I'm like we have an extra taco. It's on the fucking table. I'm like oh whatever. And so Jenny's kind enough to be to Bridget and be like, Bridget, there's an extra taco. If you are hungry, eat the fucking taco. <laughs> and Matt like fucking quick draw McGraw goes <laughs> and he just like yanks it off the table and just. <laughs> And he proceeds without saying anything <laughs> to eat the whole entire fucking taco. I'm like, With I must have just really, I truthfully, it, it did not make an impact on my life. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like half year again. I'm like, yeah, that did happen, but it's like, <laughs> but I don't remember having an emotion about it. <laughs> Matt's Matt's eyes, it was like an anime cartoon. <laughs> He's like, Jenny looked at me. <laughs> and then I was like covered in shame. Shame sauce. <laughs> shame sauce. Yeah, it wasn't was mild. It was shame. Yeah. yeah but I was <laughs> Do you remember what happened after that, Matt? What? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happened after it. That's you true. You ate your taco. Yeah. Things were fine. <laughs> I was not mad at you. <laughs> And that's why you're an overthinker. Yeah. <laughs> but I just thought it was so because Matt was always like, "Did I do something wrong?" I said, "Matt, make a post about I, it." Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Alex is like, "You gotta post." This. I'm like, "You gotta post this on <laughs> MIBS." My biggest thing you need to know about me is my I really do have resting bitch face. Damn, a lot of no thoughts, and I mm. look like I'm angry. It's and also day. when I read, apparently I look very confused. So. <laughs> it's okay, I so look like I'm trying to figure out how to read when I'm reading. So oh I think God. you're fine. So, <laughs> I'll tell you if I'm angry. Yes. Holy <laughs> shit. Damn. Uh, speaking of which, afterwards, you guys want to get Taco Bell? Yeah. Oh we were going to do I that for a meme. Roll. We were going to have like one taco in the yeah. middle of the table. <laughs> we, were gonna, we were just going to put it in the whole podcast. And just stare at it. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna have it? But <laughs> it's me this time. <laughs> so, so we said at the start of this podcast, we'll like Matt. Like maybe this will help you through knowing, like, if you're the asshole. How do you feel? Yeah. Since I like, one, I said not one the person. Right everybody there. sucked in this situation. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. That was, that was the other thing. <laughs> After there's Matt a call posted, a rectal surgeon. After Matt <laughs> fucking posted this, he's like, I'm waiting for someone to comment on this. He goes, no one's commented yet. And then one person comments. He's like, someone just fucking commented. And then he's like, is someone else going to say anything? He goes, is someone else going to say I'm not the ass? <laughs> <laughs> so Matt was God. super in his fucking head about it. I was in the zone. But it was I was so, ready to see. I so wanted like a million what posts. Say? One person was like, yeah, no, you know, like if you explicitly said that like everything was yours and you had it by you, then you're not the asshole. But since you had it on the table and you didn't. When you were like, oh yeah, and that one's mine. Yeah. You're the asshole. And then he's technically like, everybody Everyone, sucks in those situations here, yeah. for the person giving away their food. Yeah. Earthquake? And I was I, like, oh, that makes sense. To an extent, I agree. You should have been like, just as a side note, that's my taco. That taco's mine. Mine. That was... That was <laughs> Literally, I, you're talking. I mean, like, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think like that would have. It like, took me way too long everything. to actually catch on to the fact that this was actually written by you. <laughs> <laughs> it took me yeah. way too long. I was like, oh, that's incredible. <laughs> that's her like cackling like hyenas, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even make it through the fucking story. I was dying laughing. All right, so we do have, we have another one. Uh, this isn't anyone here. Did you sure, write it's it? it's not anybody from Did here. Did you write this? I won't be fooled again. <laughs> <laughs> Bamboozled. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. No, okay. 
So the title of, of this fucking one is, Am I the asshole for not picking up my fiancé from jail? I don't know. I don't, this doesn't sound familiar to me. Oh. So I know you guys writing that also reminds me of when Bree and I wrote our first Google review. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> and we made it sound like a Karen. <laughs> like, a, like a good Karen that was like a wine mom. <laughs> oh my god. I've been sipping on my wine and drinking. These girls are hilarious. I have to I have to listen to them when they uh when little Johnny's not around though cuz they do curse a bit. That's that sounds like my review. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You guys just predicted the future. You didn't. <laughs> okay, so That's what do we think? Am I the asshole for not picking up my fiance from jail? Me mm, turn. Why are they in jail? I was thinking the same fucking thing. What's the crime? Yeah. All right, so let's see. So I twenty six. No, what do you think before we start though? Yeah, give us a thing. A judgment. Yeah, judgment. Hmm. I feel like it's going to depend on it, but if I'm supposed to give a first out judgment, I feel like uh, yeah, it is an asshole thing. I'm because gonna... I feel like you should be regardless, like helping out your fiance. But I feel like, yeah, at the same time, if they're doing some fucked up shit, that's their problem. Sorry. Uh, but I'm... I'm gonna say yeah. Okay, I'll say I'll say no. I'll say no. How long were they engaged? How long were they together? Who the fuck knows? Yeah, maybe they're that's together true. for like a week and a half, and he's like, "Oh, I'm not picking your ass up from jail. I didn't know you're gonna do that shit." Go All ahead, right, so sir. we got verdicts yeah. in. All right. So I, 26 male, has have been with my... Oh, God, it went black again. And I'm back in black. <laughs> Come on, mean PC. Is it just computer? Um, Come on, mean PC. So we got this. It blacks out after a certain I'm gonna time? I'm going to explain the setup just for everyone who knows why it's going it's black. It's back. That's the computer we're reading off of. Yeah. This is my Mac it's like a remote viewer. to that computer. Yeah. Oh. So we can read. Also, that main screen is being recorded. So there's like a whole bunch of shit going on, and then it's just because the the connection I from here to there. Bring my laptop and mm. then... I was thinking for next time we take that screen, put it on the table right here, and we have a mouse and keyboard right here that okay. we can just. Okay. Mm. Or we can, you know, have a like Google Drive. Yeah, Google yeah. Doc then, or something yeah, like that. Can, yeah. No, I totally have agree. Our own or whatever. Hell yeah. Do All right, that. I agree. And then just throw in. And don't <laughs> read them or write them. <laughs> <laughs> I was told to write that one. So I, I, was like, I did. Okay. I did say, I'm like Matt, you gotta write it. I did say that. He thought it was, it was so too funny. funny. It was really. That funny. Was funny. <laughs> we were laughing. Should have known by the writing. Should have known <laughs> by my You're insane writing. The only fucking writing. person to name everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I there thought are the story. That was, do I, do yeah, that. I felt like it was gonna get too confusing if I didn't. <laughs> When I saw Rick, I, I was like, dude, <laughs> Rick is like the signal flare. Because, like, in your story story, that same person's name is Rick. But anyway, let's hop in. All right, so I, 26 male, have been with my fiance, 27 female, for three years. I proposed to her last year, and we were in no rush to get married. We are very happy together. I work full-time for an agency, and she works as a, as a cleaner and does babysitting on the side. I am happy that she wants to do something she enjoys. We live in a very nice apartment that is great for the two of us. We have one cat and a few fish. I do pay most of the rent, and she helps out with the grocery shopping and cleaning. I have been noticing that she has been drinking more, and it's affected her work, and how she treats everyone around there. She's missed a few job interviews due to drinking, and I'm really worried about her. Her parents are both alcoholics. Her brother, 29 male, and sister, 39 female, are sober. I work at I, I was at work when I received the call that my fiance had been arrested for a DWI. This was about 10 a.m. Now I was about to get into a meeting. I quickly called her family and asked if they could pick her up. Her brother bailed her out and dropped her off at the apartment. When I got home from work, DWI. she started. It was other drugs involved. Isn't that mm. the umbrella? Oh, uh, no. DWI? Yeah, 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 driving DWI, while yeah. intoxicated. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. When I got That's home from work, she one. starts oh, yelling you. at me. It's, yeah, DU yeah. is under the influence oh, now. Okay. That, oh, that I don't... shows our generations, dude. That yeah, shows our say, generational like, gap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took me for, for a second to figure that out. Okay. She starts yelling at me when I uh, that I was the AH asshole okay. for not bailing <laughs> her out. <laughs> I explained to her that I was in a meeting and could not miss it. She stormed into our room and slammed the door. She has been giving me the cold shoulder and her friends think that I am the asshole for not being the one to bail her out. Is he the asshole? I think not. I don't 
don't think so. I think he is. Really? I think, like, it's a meeting. We don't know the context of this meeting, but I mean, if it was a not important meeting, a lot of meetings are not really important. But, I mean, technically, you wouldn't know that until you go into the meeting. I think most of my meetings, that like, if I ever have a meeting, I know, like... Wait, I missed uh, it. Was he already in the meeting or about to go into the meeting? All right, so uh, this was about 10 a.m., and I was about to go into a meeting. Oh. Hmm. This one's tough. This one's on the cusp. I think, like, if it's your fiance, you've been together three fucking years. She's in jail, DWI. You know her family has a fucking drinking problem. You know there's a history there. Mm -hmm. And you're like, nah, I gotta join my fucking meeting. I can't put it off the time it takes okay. to fucking pick you up from jail. I see it's that. true. It's still, regardless, I guess I if feel it was like, like an occur like multiple times that this happened. But I think yeah, I agree with yeah. you. I that, feel like yeah. it should still be the significant other that goes and and bails them out. Yeah. No, I, I agree too. Because I think calling the family like is that still a family is anyone going to pick this bitch up? Like, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and to put her into the hands of more enabling. Yeah. yeah people yeah. who also have like fucking issues with it, right? Yeah. Change judgment. Mm. It's, it's, hey. it's. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit the asshole. <laughs> Just so weird. I, I do want updates though. I want to know like more details for some reason. I guess that's with all of them though. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is wild. I feel like put nobody's really the asshole. Screenshots. No, I, I put in links. Oh. At the oh, same time, I feel like there's no asshole. I, I feel like it's no, okay for the family <laughs> to pick her up because, you know, the family is still a direct like line of getting her out of jail. But I definitely feel like it should be the significant other that. Gonna be living the rest of their lives together. That should be helping out. Mm. No, I agree. Mm, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. I think I still think you you were a little bit of an asshole to not like. Yeah, big There's time to not like go out of the way and be like, listen, I'm having a family emergency or I'm having an emergency with my significant significant other because that's like saying that like if she went to the hospital or something like that that she you know that he wasn't gonna go out. He was gonna do his meeting. Yeah, I wonder what other people think on this, too. It's weird. I wonder if other people have our same thought process, or if they're like, Nah, you Gucci. Mm, no. I feel like this is one that's, like, torn between the two. Come on, dude. And then sometimes you could also see if they respond. I like to do that for the ones that are, like, really an asshole. Mm. Look to see if they respond, because normally, they do. Mm. Yeah, I feel like if you are an asshole, you're kind of, like... And then they're on the defense about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I really need to oh, fuck. Did I not click into this? Oh, yeah, this whole math thing Are is the big... Are there zero comments on this? Am I stupid? Bridget, can you scroll for me? I'm trying to. This is a little complicated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all over you Reddit's this math equation. Everybody's talking well, about thank you this so math much. equation. I have not. You're not missing much. <laughs> uh, can you go down a little bit, please? Fine, fine. Oh, oh yeah, can you it? view entire discussion? What was it? It was... It was like eight time or eight divided by two or something like that with the parentheses of okay. like two plus two and everybody's... I forget the exact equation. Yeah. Yeah. Hemdos! Everyone's, yeah, exactly. everyone's saying, not the asshole. Why are you saying a relationship with an active alcoholic? Mm. I think that's not fair. If you love fair. somebody, if you love somebody, Addiction you are through it. Addiction is a disease yeah. in a way. Yes, you know? yeah. Like, it's, I mean, it's, it's one thing if they don't keep continuously don't get help and now it's ruining your mental health and you have to do what's best for you. Yeah. But sometimes people go down that path because they don't have a support system. You've been with this person for three years. You got to be there and kind of help Yeah, them. big time. Yeah. If this is the first time something like this happened, like that's a big time you got to fucking support that And that, that shows person. you what's going, like, can we ask the question of why is she starting to drink more? Mm. You know, like really go into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I want, that's why I want updates real bad. Okay, so someone else says not the asshole and I'd say that if nobody else bailed her out. So if so, if someone else didn't bail her out, mm. they would consider this person yeah. an asshole. Mm -hmm. uh, not the asshole because work obligations, being on call while the brother was available. Mm. Okay, fair. Um, they, did they say the brother was actively an alcoholic as well? Or? Oh, no. I thought the sister and the brother were clean. Oh, like okay. They were sober. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not the asshole. And then, uh, it, yeah, most people are saying not the asshole. She has a problem. Mm -hmm. She needs to seek help. But once again, like, I think that person should be there to help her find that help. Not the asshole, not the asshole. I'm, 
And okay. there are times that you're going to disagree with, yeah. with yeah. the comments because that's how it would be. But yeah, well, also, but that's also from our standpoint of like being on yeah. calls and like not necessarily, not every call is like that important. Mm. Like generally, you know. if I was in that situation, I want to bail her out. Yeah. Because no, I always want to help everybody yeah. out. You're the like, same way. <laughs> You're like the person that's the go-to for everybody. I would bail anybody part. out. Yeah. yeah. Like, Fair. Yeah. Yep. Same. I would really be like, I'm sorry. Like they probably didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like. Hey, if you want to talk to them and be like, hey, yeah, what what's the hell going happened? on? Yeah. Yo. Why this? <laughs> I'm going to bail you out and then scream at you. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do some deep therapy if that's the <laughs> 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 What's going on there? Um, I do. Hold on. Let's see what time we're at before I. Yeah, but really? that, that time. Oh, off. my God. We're at 49 minutes. Holy crap. So I didn't we... realize we were that Wait. far. Damn. Does anybody oh, have damn. any story times or things that like these stories have made them think about that they want to say? I mean, there was this one burrito that just lives <laughs> on in my... <laughs> one taco? <laughs> well, obviously that one. <laughs> I mean, I'll just... For the story with the, the boy in the dress, mm -hmm. um... I mean, of what I was saying before, kids, boys will put themselves in dress all yeah. the time, and some people will, like, say things, be like, oh, like, he shouldn't be in that, and I'm like, whatever. He put it on. I'm not taking it's it off It's funny. Of sometimes <laughs> you're just doing it for the goof and the gaffs. And sometimes it is just, <laughs> yeah. like, because they're seeing everybody else do it, you know, the girls are having fun, and also just, why not? Who cares? So, that's Who a cares? funny concept, right? Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I don't want to take it off of him, right? So, like, in that standpoint, it's like, yeah, sure, I put the dress on. Would you like me to undress your child? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they normally wear with like, their clothes under. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you want me to take their clothes off? It's also Again. Like, <laughs> why would I make them upset? Yeah. Just oh for, God. because you think it looks yeah, weird. Yeah, big time. That's Who why. Cares? Very silly. Who cares? It's weird because it's like, would you rather have the kid be uncomfortable and like cold and naked and everything? Or would you want them to be like comfortable and clothed and happy? And this baby was not going to know the difference. No, they probably just felt, you know, it was breezy. I don't know. Yeah. He would seem to light the dress from what the yeah, scenario the like put on. Yeah. yeah, he was doing like a curtsy and everything. I'm giving oh. you the actual screen now. Just so you could see that I I did put links. <laughs> so what now? Do, do that when I was hovering over. Oh. Yeah, it should be something about a grilled cheese. Oh, my God. She's a girl. What? What's wrong? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know what's happening. The grilled cheese one. <laughs> is this another written one? No, no, I, I it really is not. I promise you. Oh, so why can't you? I would say if it was down written. to like. Uh, because we're remoting to the PC and you're on the side. That's why it's a pain mm -hmm. in the ass. All right. Am I the asshole for refusing to make a grilled cheese for my stepsister when I was forced to visit my dad and his wife? Oh my god! Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's, that's weird when it happens it seems like when it goes too big it seems to go black quicker so like i think i found like the right size the sweet spot yeah <laughs> i like <laughs> but yeah because when i had it too big it went black immediately i was like right, yeah. we're okay. just gonna do this really quick yeah you can totally pull it up i'm just gonna oh, i'm gonna put it on the screen just who could take the sunrise, sprinkle it with poo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, now I have to do this more. Are we back? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my brother are 16 and 15. We didn't judge. Oh. Mm. Hi. So, again, am I the yeah. asshole for, for refusing to make a grilled cheese for my stepsister when I was forced to visit my dad and his wife? Hmm. I have a really strong feeling that this person was actively already <laughs> making grilled cheeses because this is so fucking specific. Yeah. So they. There's two like two thing scenarios that I'm thinking of. So what was the title again? I'm sorry, my brain like shut off. <laughs> Am I the asshole for refusing to make a grilled cheese for my stepsister when I was forced to visit my my dad and his wife? I feel like this person kind of is if they were yeah. actively making the grilled cheeses. 
Yeah, I think that's it too. That's what I feel too. I'm if, a yes. If they were like actively doing it already, yeah. Okay, then why not but just on the flip one side, more? what if this stepsister is a asshole? serial killer? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> you know, even at like, she's a bully. Mm. Would you want to make? She's a, bully? a racist. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, you, yeah. you said it, not me. Uh, yeah. If they, and she said it. <laughs> if they're actively like an asshole and everything, then I don't know. I always try and kill people with kindness, and then no, I just so talk. You about, make them girl. four grilled cheese. No. I'll be Put like, you want a grilled cheese? <laughs> Eat all four of them, bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I want a like, grilled cheese. <laughs> now, now you're like wasting these other grilled cheeses that you didn't eat. There's like three grilled cheeses on this plate. Why didn't you eat them? I don't know. Too full. <laughs> All right. So yeah, consensus currently we think probably is probably okay. I feel like it, but I feel like when they explain the scenario, it's gonna be like, no, I'm the asshole for pre for judging. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're judging a book by its cover. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> that thing that they by say the don't do. We're, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing we're it. We're 49 <laughs> minutes deep into doing it. Not oh much is gonna God. change. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Cool, let's go. All right, we ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and my brother are 16 and 15. We are in we are from a super religious family that like to push all that you will visit your dad nonsense oh on uh... us despite us not wanting it. Um I lost my place already. <laughs> <laughs> Panic. Panic. <laughs> my bro and I are really close. He is autistic and Aww. has a lot better and he but has gotten a lot better as he's gotten older. He was nonverbal as a kid and had a lot of triggers. He's verbal now and can control his triggers a lot better. Hmm. Anyway, he still has meltdowns. But I know how to look after him and deal with it. Oh, what a good sibling. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really sweet, actually. My dad, on the other hand, always blows my brother off. And... I got so scared at that <laughs> pause. <laughs> yeah, that My dad, scary. on the other hand, always blows my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's, it, you know, I mix it up. It's blows. Blow off my brother. But <laughs> Even it one still made the sense. <laughs> it still was correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> it made out that my brother could control his mental state, etc. And he would call my brother Ralph. Oh my Wiggum. god. Yeah, from oh. The Simpsons. That's terrible. That's actually oh. fucked. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that. Character. I like men now. Yeah, that's, that's actually from the that's movie. A quote that's from like the an movie. exact quote from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo. Oh, I'm in oh, danger. Oh, you that, choo okay, choo okay, choose Ralph, me? Yes. Oh, damn. It's a belief she's kid. Yeah. As a really mean way of calling him dumb. Aw. Anyway. That's the ass. <laughs> all yeah. my brother eats is tomato soup and grilled cheese. That's uh, uh, ex excellent. Excellent. So good. When his routine is disrupted, I guess it's comfortable... Wait, that doesn't make sense. When his routine is disrupted, I guess it's comfortable for him. Mm, Not I, that must be. I must have messed that must up. Be it. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> I hate cooking, and usually my mom makes it for my brother. If we have to travel out of state or for whatever, but obviously he's my brother, and I'm gonna look out for him. So they make it when they mm -hmm. have to. Mm, yeah. My dad refuses to help with my brother's needs because he doesn't believe in autism. Oh what? my god. How? This is not like what Santa. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is insane. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so I made him his grilled cheese when my stepsister, also 15, told me to make one. No please or thank you for herself. I said, ask nicely and I will. So she just screeched at the top of her lungs for my dad to uh. uh, and her mom. Mm. They both came and started berating me, saying I'm the oldest and need to care for both my siblings now, and I'm acting like a brat. Damn. Then 
as yeah. a weird sort of power thing, they stood over me and said, make her the grilled cheese. Oh, man. I got pissed at being told what to do, so I said no. At that point, if they're hovering over me, I probably would have done the same shit. Like, yeah. oh, bro, now that you're doing that, I'm definitely I, not making you Yeah, that's terrible. Especially if you're a teenager and everything, and you already have that angst going on, and are looking to be defiant, why would they do that? That's definitely not a good idea. No, that's fucked. Ooh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Did and it get then, worse? Oh, well, to make things worse, it's the last sentence. My brother <laughs> called her a word in oh. front of my dad and his wife, and that got us both grounded. They took our phones away. However, I have my iPad in, in my bag, so I'm on Reddit with that. Wow. <laughs> Am I the asshole because I didn't make her one? No. So I'm assuming that word was bitch. Probably. Probably? Yeah. Or the C, yeah, C word. Maybe the C, the C word. Maybe the C word. I don't think so. No. Yeah, I really think that that girl was in the clear. Well, I, you know. If it was before. making your brother grilled cheese. And yeah, the fact that it was. Okay, so mid making it. But the demanding. I yeah. like that. Agree. 100%. Yeah. If you were mid making it, oh, can I have one? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Do you, have, do you have enough to make another? Yeah. Then totally Please cool. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then, like. <laughs> That's what I'm in. Make the room. <laughs> That sounds so. The terrible. only way I fucking pictures. <laughs> Ugh, reaching. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, not the already, asshole. Yeah, no, big time. I'm on that yeah. girl's side only. Yeah, I don't like wall. that. I don't like no. that one bit. No, I don't like that's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I feel wall. like the parents are the biggest assholes. Yeah, because like the, the brothers pop -pop? already doing so much. And, yeah, like, actually taking hey, the, the pop pop, pop. <laughs> the pop <Baja> blast. <laughs> the pop. Baja... Speaking the pop -pop? of taco, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what <Lost> tacos? <laughs> 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 Believe it or not, uh, Ripley's. We're at the, yeah, we're at the end of this podcast. Wow, what? Damn. Time flies by. We're yeah. judging people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> high school all over again. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. No, wait. Yeah, no. High school went by quick. <laughs> yeah, I was judged a lot in high school. Mm, Damn. Same. How no, yeah. quick did it go by? Not quick enough. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but then also at the same time, would have loved to still be in like playing video games and, and doing shit from high school. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, not. Mm. 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 damn, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, Jenny didn't listen to me at all this whole podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. Wow. Uh, well, so yeah, so uh, we're coming to the end. Any closing thoughts? Don't be an asshole. Yeah, please don't be a jerk or anything. If you do. Judge Apologize. yourself harshly like I do every single day. <laughs> That's every also, single I don't know. <laughs> no apology either. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to apologize and then judge yourself harshly. There we go. There. I'm sorry for stealing that last taco. <laughs> It was your taco. <laughs> I was like, I stayed up thinking about that. <laughs> it really upset me. It put me into therapy, man. I'm oh, sorry, you had to go to therapy. Over the oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> but all is forgiven. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Thank you very Don't much. Don't steal your friend's tacos. No, I <laughs> agree. <laughs> Don't oh. steal your own taco. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the moral of the story is. <laughs> Don't They're, be an asshole. Dang you. Don't <laughs> look for one. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> <laughs> so guys thank you for watching the first episode of this Damn. brand new podcast if you like it do us a favor tell us you fucking liked it yeah. if you didn't like us do us a favor tell us you didn't fucking like if it. you if we read uh, your story and you think we're the assholes I don't like tell criticism. us <laughs> dm us personally and keep jenny out of it if you didn't like it. i don't want to see it <laughs> they can tell me the fluffy yeah. version oh my god <laughs> and here's the other thing if you guys feel like there's a story where you're not sure if you were the asshole yeah. or not, feel free to drop it in this Reddit. Send us the link. 
because we still want to support this Reddit. Oh yeah, and we'll we'll come on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. you know, and we'll. Thing. I don't know why you would want our opinions, but mm, you'll know. get them. <laughs> yeah, you'll get us pre-judging you and then after judging you. Yeah, yeah. we'll if judge you right you off the bat as we've done so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll make assumptions about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if that interests you. <laughs> Let us fucking know. Send us a comment. Send us a DM. Subscribe give if you kiss. haven't already. <laughs> give us, give us. <laughs> Put your finger in the air. <laughs> Two finger stretch and swallow that shit. Anyway, we've been Space Zamboni. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Bye. Jenny. And Thank uh, you. yeah, yeah. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace Thank out. Yeah, Bye. peace out. I'll be wearing a dress. <laughs>